this is why people find anime weird, and that's fine. As you can see, we got some beautiful ladies. A new anime is dropping. Let's see what Chibi has to say. So before we begin, I want all of you to navigate your eyes to this portion of the screen and uh, look at the bookmarks. I am one of them. 13K. Mm, mm, I'm proud mm, of my community. <laughs> I'm legitimately proud. It seems like my words of peak anime dropping soon yeah. resonated with quite a few people because they clearly want to know when this anime is going to come out. I mean, look at their design. Look at this girl. She's straight up lifting her skirt. Of course, it's going to get a bunch of clicks. But even here, there's like the athletic type, right? I don't know what this type is about. This, this girl looks like a fucking teacher. Straight up, this is a teacher right now. What is going on? They, they, they definitely want to watch it. And yeah, um, yeah, I, I think yeah. it's because we all know that this is probably going to be anime of 2024. Only series that potentially can compete with it is this series. Imaiz Mikun, or wait, what is this? Series that's also getting anime, and I'll talk more about this one in a second. Is that her panties right there? No, no, look, 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 look at this side, right over here. You see this? What is this? I think that's straight up her panties. But uh, let's get back over into this. That so is! She's that, that's down her leg! Look! Look! So this series... Like, wait, 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 wait! This is her leg! Look! This is her calf! This is her ankle! She's taking her panties! She's straight up taking her fucking panties off of this manga cover, dude! One in a second. But uh, okay. let's get back over into this. So right, this focus. series, late last night, basically got an anime announcement. And it's going to basically have separate versions for normal anime. For just... Like High School DxD, we're gonna get nipples and no nipples. Stormwatchers, Watchers, aka Censored. And then it's going to have a etchy broadcast. Mm. FYI, the last time this technically happened, I believe, I could, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, was Inukai. Inukai <laughs> was one of those shows that, you know, had- Wait, Inukai's not- did, did they show nipples in this show? I know there's some, like, um, there, there's a lot of sexual content involved, but I didn't know this had an etchy, uh, etchy version, had, too. Like, the etchy version or the- uncensored version and then the censored version oh. and i'm assuming it's going to be pretty much like that now the series in question here that is being talked about mm. is this adam sweet agony this is you know the source okay. and all that and don't mind the clicks on the links and all yeah that, i already it see it says with the summary nature of women as the soul mad who can get an erection Summary, why are you erect? That's so unfair. In a world where all other men have contracted erectile dysfunction, all a bunch of Rudy's gray rats from season two, I alone am subjected to the starved true nature woman. So he's the only one with the working dick. Everyone else has erectile dysfunction. Viagra doesn't exist in this world. Oh my god. Descriptions. Uh, just completely ignore that. What yeah. you need to know is, okay. is that peak anime is clearly upon us very soon. Sure. We got peak character design, and uh, anime really is going to be ascending to a whole new level for 2024. You know, uh, let's just, let, let, you know what? Let, yeah, let's get back into the description. Kay. It looks like new Mushiku Tensei is dropping. That, yes. That's exactly what it means. Like, you know, this is our Mushiku Tensei at home. When we think of Mushiku Tensei, we don't think of Rudy and his journey. No, we think of... Adam's sweet agony because that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> Straight up, the erectile dysfunction arc is going to continue. I can't believe they based an entire show revolving around the fact that all the men are impotent, which is kind of smart because then it's like it, there is some actual plot relevancy as to why the main guy gets all so. It, it, does every guy just get cucked in this world by the main character? Like the main character is the only one with a functioning dig, so all the guys have to watch this main character just like. I don't know, try to try to save this planet through reproduction. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, it's just like, it's crazy to me. Just how anything nowadays can just pretty much get an anime. It's actually wild. It it's not anything, though. You think it's anything, but it's not anything. And let me explain to you why. This is a very calculated and strategic play from these anime companies. When you think about series like Reincarnate as a pig, for example, this current season, or even Inukai-san's dog, there is a specific target demographic that they are obviously targeting, right? Who are they? A bunch of degenerate men, probably in their like 18 to somewhere in their 20s, right? They have a lot of degenerate fantasies and being stepped on by women, being looked down by women, being degraded, being like a dog, being like a pig. People love that shit. That's why it still sells. So you think that immediately, who the fuck is going to watch this? No, 
there's a lot of people that's gonna watch it. And this show is a little bit different because now it sounds like the main character is a bit of a giga chat because it's not him that's important. Everyone around the world is important except him. He's the only one with the functioning dick. So technically, this is not a cuck story. Imagine though, if the main character was the only one with the erectile dysfunction, but then the girl still came to him instead of the other guys. Now that I think, we're, ta we're thinking now, if that was an anime, if there was an anime like that, main character straight up ED, everyone else are Giga Chads, but all the girls just flock to him only, I, th I think this would do really well. Trust me on this. It is, it's really wild to me because it's like, I, I feel like there's been like a, a period uh -huh. where not a lot of like fan service anime gets adapted as much anymore. Like there is some. <laughs> I mean, we were we, we watching a lot of fan service oh, here. Yes, there is still some that's still <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. Mean, no, 100 Girlfriends this season. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, is that you go back 10 years ago, 11 years ago, you literally couldn't go an entire anime season without like five or seven of those shows being just straight up super, super fan service. Really? And it seems like as more and more time goes on, there's been less of that. But it seems like when we do get fan service anime, it's just straight up the most degenerate stuff you have ever seen imaginable. Like, once again, I want to point this out. Okay. Hinukai. Hinukai is just... We're a dog. We just get reincarnated as a dog for pretty girls. And they, they, they just... Some people love that shit. They, they love this shit. I don't even know what to say. It left me speechless. That, that's all I'm going to say. But uh, I just... We now get... More even Chainsaw Man, Makima. Guys just get on their knees and start barking for Makima. Why? Because a bunch of guys love to get dominated by girls like this. Look at the girls' faces. Do you think that it's a coincidence that they all have this evil, smirking-looking face? Look at them, right? Very sexy. I get it. But look at the way they're staring at you. This is all very strategic. You think that this isn't important? You think that these are minor details? No. The marketing team has done billions of dollars of research to understand coomers like you so they can sell the finest, most accurate product. And now, this anime, it might be that product. More quality over quantity. That is what I have noticed over the years. And I'm going to say, we will be watching. At least I will be watching. And I think that... We will be watching, trust me. Uh, the 13k bookmarks and the 27k you know, likes on my tweet here definitely speaks for itself that there is definitely a lot of people that are interested in watching the show so watch out mushiku tensei you have a uh, you know some competition now uh, you know next year something that's probably going to grind you into the dirt and beat you <laughs> but okay let's get into the next one so we have this series as well she's just straight up taking her panties off in this panel what is going on here what's the synopsis of this story well, that is getting an anime and i am fully acquainted with this one actually mm. i read the first few chapters because it just sounded so bizarre to me i was just right it wasn't the cover of the girl taking her panties off right no that wasn't what caught your attention what's the plot tell me the plot like huh and i had to check it out for myself i, I did and here i'm just i'm gonna let you see the synopsis for yourself i'll read it for you Takane is the uh, goddess of her high school with perfect grades athletic great. prowess and unrivaled beauty this student council president is the apple of everyone's eye including kyoshi a below Us. average student with no friends or social prospects what Virgin 2. Wow, when was the last time we had a story like this? The most popular, beautiful girl at school fawns over the main character who is social outcast, neat, fucking Hikimoko. I don't know, the, the Shudden, right? He's a fucking virgin. He, he's just like, pro he's just stupid, not rich. He just comes from a shitty upbringing. Everything about him is just as sad as it can be. Why? To fucking pander to the target demographic who are watching shows like this. Whatsoever. But he'll soon find out the secret behind Takane's unbelievable success, her pantsu. Okay. When she strips, she can undo any of her past actions. And now that Kyoshi... When she strips, she can undo any of her past actions. We're time traveling with this? We're straight up erasing stuff that happened. She fucks up something... And then she takes off her panties. And then we, like, rewind time. Really? He knows. Ta Takane won't let him off so easy. And this is, um... The time-traveling pantsu. Yeah, that's the plot. Basically, the main character becomes a clothing closet for the main female character. The, the main male character becomes, like, someone that holds onto her articles of clothing so... 
does she, so so we carry her panties that she takes off and we we help her to speak to, for she can use her power anytime she wants C currently the series has like a few chapters it has like you know 40 something chapters okay. so it's got quite a few content to be able to make an anime which leads into the main subject that yeah this is getting an anime it was also announced like a day and a half ago and so it's not just let's say you know this series that we're gonna have to look out for we also have this series that's also getting one and i'm i'm not gonna lie i don't know which one is more d gen i mean i feel like this I think this one is. I, I think this one is. The other one, yeah, she has to take the panties off to time travel and stuff like that. But I feel like that's not as bad as an entire story built on the premise that everyone has erectile dysfunction except the main character. This one is like right up in your face. So it's like, yeah, you yeah. know, this is... Also, the cover picture is pretty strong. It just gets right in there. But this one, I think, is legit. It's more elegant, right? It is. Legitimately more, because the prospect or the aspect of, like, the, the character being able to basically redo or change anything with time and all that because of clothing and with such a fan service and over-the-top setting, it's just, like, really. It, it, it's legitimately, like, huh? And I'm not gonna lie. It's not a... It's not an amazing series. Like, it's... <laughs> hey, come on now. Are, are we really here... <laughs> trying to try to try to trying to like I don't know state that these series these fan service series are like fucking life changing series that's gonna be the next show that you know tops fucking free run full metal you know alchemist brotherhood no but there is a reason why we're watching and it's definitely not because they're good shows it's fun okay it is fun yeah it's a fun series so far from what I read of it but it is nothing that is legitimately mind blowing but it mm. is definitely. <laughs> Mm. It's definitely something else. That's all I'm gonna say. It is it's got the romance, it's got the comedy, it's got the rom com, it's supernatural. I mean, hell, if you're into that type of stuff, you're one hundred percent going to enjoy the series. So yeah, I mean, anything nowadays seems like a you know, can get an anime. I think actually ever since we saw like uh interspecies reviewers come out That is an anime that I still actually don't know about and a lot of people are telling me to kind of watch it as a meme. Maybe we could check it out. The entire world to see. Like when that got an anime and we yeah. saw the like the drama it caused and stuff. Is it as big as drama as a redo of Healer? Stuff. I feel like anime is taking a shift. At least in the etchy department. I feel like more and more pushing the limits and boundaries of etchy has now started to become anime because of interspecies. I don't know if they're um uh, that is the cause, but I feel like there is some form of you think interspecies reviewer like pioneered this etchy movement? Maybe high school DXD did back then. Correlation, you know, I, there needs to be a study, but because I feel like ever since then, when we do get fan service, it is some of the most like, bro, <laughs> it is just oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, I, I I just wanted to shout these two series out for no particular reason. Okay. It's clear that a lot of people on Twitter are big fans of it, so uh, yeah, I wanted to bring this to you guys on YouTube as well. I mean, the bookmarks and likes speak for itself. Oh, we so know. We know. One hundred percent interested in these stories. But okay. All right. You know what to do. Go to Chibi's channel. Subscribe to him. Like the video if you did. He just knows all the best animes, huh? These two series it's coming out in 2024. My God. We're definitely going to at least check it out. The plot sounds ridiculous, but still, it might be a fun time to watch.